Hello, here today with my March wrap-up. The nine books I read and a handful of novellas and short stories. I'm rambling already. Let's get started. The nine books I read in the month of March. It was a good month. We'll start with uh, The Will of Time. I read The Winter's Heart and Crossroads of Twilight. They said it was a slog, but I really enjoyed them. Uh, can't wait to see what's happening with Randall Thor and Egwene and Matt and Perrin. The story continues. I still got um, four, four books left, five books, because I'm going to read uh, New Spring. So, yeah, can't wait to start that. Uh, very good books. Egwene got captured. Rand has to meet the Daughters of the Nine Moons. We'll see what happens. Matt got married. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. We'll go with uh, another one. I just got done finishing. Just made a review. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This was a real surprise. A good hit. It's always nice when I uh, find a book in the low free library. And it's a winner. A lot of the times I just try them out. And a book I usually wouldn't read. And it's a winner. I really enjoyed it. Gave it four stars. It had some problems. I think uh, I was thinking about it. I think it just ended really quick and suddenly. And I think maybe it could have been flushed out more. That's my biggest criticism of that, but other than that, it was a really good book. Then I got done with some Discworld. I read Reaper Man and Soul Music. Two very, very good Terry Pratchett books, uh, Continuing of Death, when Death is questioning his existence, I guess, uh, what he's doing in life. Very... Uh, Undertones of cap, uh, how capitalism is bad. Uh, the main bad guy in this was a shopping mall in Reaper Man. In more, they did, they talked, they criticized the music industry a lot. I felt like there were some good jokes, and I can't wait to see. I'm not expecting it that it's going to have a big epic ending of any kind. But you know the way the stories are going, you they could be standalones, but. Uh, I'm still very interested in seeing how he finishes up a series. If he, I'm not sure if he meant it for them to be a series in because there's like 40 books, and I'm not sure if he meant for them to be series or people just made them their own collections. So I'm not sure about that. But there is a storyline through them, so uh, it's very good. I'm enjoying it. A Cure. I read one ma manga. Uh, this I'm counting it as a book. This was very good. I'm almost done. I'm going to read this as soon as I'm done with Cap Chernobyl Burn right now. I'm going to read part six right now. But I'm enjoying these. Worth, uh, worth the wait to get them all and the money. I wanted to finish the story and I'm happy I am did. Uh, in this, America is finally getting involved in the Japanese Empire. Just more, uh, you know, it's a manga so it doesn't go very well how can i say it goes by really quick and i i feel like there could be more details but it's a it's a manga so it's not a novel but other than that it's fine you know uh i just like i i, I really enjoy uh in-depth storytelling and this is you're getting it in this too they explained about some of the cosmic stars and everything i think they explained that akira gets his power from the earth rotating and the energy that it generates so that's cool i never thought about that well uh, my nemesis by uh charmine craig this was a really another one that i found in the low free library that i really really enjoyed it was a pleasant surprise about women about uh about women yeah and jealousy and motherhood and women not liking another woman trying to steal her man it was a uh, very made me think i you could tell i had a lot of notes I wanted to think about uh, the a first person perspective. You see it through the mind of uh, I can't remember the woman's name, but you see it through Tessa. I think her name is you see it through the her eyes and an unreliable narrator. And I really enjoy unreliable narrator stories. So this this was good. I would give this four or five stars, too. I uh, And then when I was looking at it, I'm not sure if that's real or not, but a signature. 
it's an advanced reader's copy, so I'm not sure how this ended up in the little free library, but I'm happy I found it. It was very good. If you can pick it up and find it, I suggest you read it. And then we got to get to what is probably what I'm not enjoying the most, the Expanse series. I read Abaddon's Gate and Caliban's War. Caliban's War then Abaddon's Gate. The Expanse series, and I'm also in the middle of... Chibolar Burn. And, uh, I'm in, you know, I really, like I keep on saying, I really wanted to enjoy these novels. If I could call them novels, they're really more movie, movie scripts, I guess. They, I think they, they made these books hoping that they would get turned into a TV series almost. I'm feeling like, or, and then I was doing, I was looking at the release dates and they came out year after year after year. And then in 2011, 2012, 2000, you know, they came out really quick, one after the other. And I was thinking like, they just, just pumping these out, you know? And maybe that's why there's not very much world building and death in these characters. Cause I don't see any death in these characters. You have, they have to tell you who each character is you know, uh, explain it to you. They have to explain to you that Holden is ho noble, which in my idea, and Holden hasn't done anything noble. He's killed a lot of innocent people and he's murdered a couple people, just straight out shot them in the head when he didn't like their decision. It's one of those like books where, yeah, I'm right because I'm right. And you're wrong because you're wrong. And then just the underlying tones The underlying tones I'm getting from it, how capitalism and the way they talk about people on basic, which is welfare. And I'll have more to say when I get done with this book. I'm going to make another review later on today. I'm only, only got 100 pages left, but I'm just really disappointed in the Expanse series more than anything else. A lot of hype, a lot of book sales. I would I should have I should have realized what was going on when they were on top 10 list one year and then nowhere to be seen the next. And then I also heard I think I can't remember what book tube I was listening to and they were talking about yeah no matter what you think about the expanse it is still a good and I'm like what do you mean? And then I I should have took the hints and known that well, some people very much love these books, and I'm not going to hate anybody who loves The Expanse. There was a good uh, Orange River, I believe his name is on YouTube, who made an Expanse, uh, like half an hour long Expanse explainer video, explaining the, te te explaining the technology and the science in The Expanse. But these books don't explain any of that. Well, at least not as far as I've had... Uh, have come across i'm not talking about like the technology like the epstein drive and how fusion works i'm talking about how the economy works you know i haven't heard anything about that in these books i've heard about it from other people who maybe they got far longer in my in in the reading than i have but they haven't really said anything about how the economy works how Mars got started really when do they just kind of oh yeah Mars got there and then all there was a government you know they don't and then they introduce religion I'm gonna go on about their expense they introduce religion and it's like well wouldn't Mars have Catholic churches already there and a, a whole system set up and networks and I don't it's just taking me out of the moment I'll talk about it later in one of my other reviews and then I read some novellas and short stories I wasn't gonna bring them all out here I read a whole bunch but the best ones were uh the Conan, I really enjoyed, uh, I, I'm really enjoying the Conan. The Phoenix on the Sword, uh, the Sword and the Citadel, I, I think it was read. The Red Shadow, Solomon Kane, Tower of the Elephant, that was a great one. I didn't know that Conan was gonna have aliens in it. I was pleasantly surprised that, yeah, this cosmic horror, HP Lovecraft, Conan, you know, the, Cosmic Horror, yeah, HP Lovecraft, I'm going to say it again, that 
the Hyperion Age, and I'm just getting more and more into it. Sadly, I'm not going to keep this copy. I'm going to turn it in, uh, just because I got storage space and give somebody else. I don't see very many people with Conan books. At, at least when I go to the to the bookstore, I don't see very many Conan books. And I would, you know, let somebody else take a hit, uh, shot at it. I already got all these stories in another volume. Some great artwork. I would want to keep it for the artwork, but oh well. I'm not sure if these are coming out very good, but I really enjoyed it. The Solomon Kane, the Kroll. Uh, yeah. Very, very good. If you haven't read Conan, read Conan. Uh, I was pleasant. I knew I was going to like it. I, uh, just because of the things I've heard, I knew I was going to like it. But then even when I read it, I was really surprised. You know, b war and violence and world build, world building. A whole history. This is the kind of stuff I love. Uh, whole maps and race, different races and cultures and... Yeah, a lived-in world. I felt like I was already in the, a well-lived-in world. Read Conan. Conan. The Sumerian. He's not a barbarian, people. And those are the books I read this month. You know, if I had to pick which book would be my favorite after I just got done talking about them. You know, The Wheel of Time. Ah, I'm loving the story. I really am. I didn't feel a slog at all. But was it the best... No, I can't, I, I, you know, this is just the middle of the story, and this book was mostly, you know, these books could have been uh, simultaneously, you know, back to back, because uh, this half, the back half of this back half coincides with the first half of this book. So this is really just one big long book, but I guess it's always is. But you know, my surprise hits are the my little free libraries, because I got both of them, and they were both really good. And if I had to choose one, it would have to be my nemesis, I guess. No, I'm not, I guess. I'm going to pick my nemesis as my number one book this month. A very surprised pick about a successful white woman writer who develops a friendship first by correspondence and then in person with Charlie, a ruggedly handsome philosopher and scholar based in Los Angeles. Sparks fly as they exchange, exchange ideas about Camus and masculinity desired and their intellectual connection promises more either way it's about a woman trying to steal another woman's husband and how she sees that woman and really just makes you think it's not a very plot driven story or just more characters and like they say philosophy they they talk a lot about i had to look up who camus was when i read this and not that I don't like philosophy, but I um, I hate the way philosophers talk, especially the way these the people in these this book talk about how they how they think they know everything and they just spout nonsense. Really, <laughs> like if you really think about what they said, they didn't say nothing. <laughs> but it, I, I I did really enjoy this book. A close second would be The Seven Husbands of Evan and Hugo. That was good. Uh, I can't forget, you know, I, I really enjoyed all the books I read. Uh, the Discworld novels, Death, uh, the, I'm really enjoying the, the university, the Unseen University in these, the, the Wizards, and maybe I might pick up the Wizards. I just enjoy talking, and then the Kira, oh, they're all my favorite. I changed my mind, they're all my favorite. I'm going to cop out like that. They're all my favorite. But that was my uh, my book review uh, for the month. I had a really good month. Uh, this was my first full month in here, uh, in my new place. I didn't walk as much. I did. I I usually time myself and said I only wa uh, walked around twenty miles. I usually try to go for thirty, you know, at least a mile a day, and work it out. But. But then my phone's not the greatest either, so it doesn't keep, does any, do you guys ever, do you guys try to keep track of your guys' walking time and distance? Because sometimes I'll do the, I, I do it cheap, I do it through Google Maps and any app tractor or how the phone tracks me and I'll see the distance I walk. And it'll have me going through buildings and neighborhoods that I never went through. So it's not a, a very fair, accurate but I'm walking, I'm doing my exercising, I'm doing my push-ups, my sit-ups, my pull-ups, my squats, the, you know, just 
keep your mind active, keep your body active. Reading my books, I was, and I, I'm doing a better, I'm trying to tell myself always not to compare myself to other readers since I am officially a booktuber, I guess now. And I'm watching a lot of other booktubers and they're making their list. And right now they're coming out with a lot of their, uh, how many books did I read this month? And a lot of them outdid me and bigger books and uh, the books some people read. I, 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 I want to read, but I, I, sometimes I'm afraid I'm, I'm not, I'm not smart enough if I have to be honest. The way they talk about some of these books, you know, I, I want to I want to talk educated about educated <laughs> intelligently about books and the way I love them and the stories and Conan the Barbarian, the Sumerian. Oh, I said it myself. But I think that comes with time. Uh, I'll get better. I'm trying to cut out my ums and my ends and my butts. And the way I talk, and I'm trying to look into the camera more. Not many as not many views, but that's okay too. I feel more. If anything, I feel better that I'm not getting so many views. There's <laughs> not many people are criticizing me, and I'm sure. I'm sure. Daniel Green, Murphy Napier, all of them, they get tons of harassment honestly and i'm glad i'm avoiding that so again me talking about if i'm famous i would i but i think it'll come with time and i'll come with growth and i'll be better i think i'm talking about books better the way maybe because i do look at other people's reviews and some people didn't see as good and I can see the criticism you know, about Crossroads of Twilight or any World of Time or how white people love uh, the expense. Everybody's different and everybody has their own taste. And I can see why people are very well at explaining why they don't like the book or why they do like the book. And I don't feel like I'm on their level yet at explaining why and how in depth and the characters and I don't think that it's, it's that they're, they're, that maybe they're seeing it from a different perspective sometimes. And that's always interesting to me. Because it's always about the voices in your head. Some people might see this character as a whiny little baby. But other people say, I didn't catch that. I, I caught that as he was concerned, not whiny, you know, uh, just the way you see the characters, the, the mood you're in, the atmosphere in your life, how life is treating you can affect and will affect the way you read a book. Just the way I was, I was the way went t I feel somewhere Terry Pratchett, well, he was a war vet. I'm pretty sure. I know, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I'm sure that has to do with, or even if it wasn't a war vet, the economy that he was living in has to do with something from why he would put that in the, why capitalism and poverty and just the underlying, the underlying comments that he makes in these books. See, I'm not, I'm not as elegant when I talk about it, but there's an undertone to it about society that he's getting at about that. It's not good to treat homeless people this this way. What about the way you look at this way? It's just an uh, the way South Park does it, I would say. There's a word for it that I can't think of right now. Cynicism, I think, maybe. But I enjoy looking at somebody somebody's world perspective and seeing what they think and my thoughts. Because I'm not always right. I'm going to look back now, 10 years from now, and think, oh, man, what an idiot I was. So and I'm ready for that. Not everything, but I'm sure there's going to be some things that I'm going to regret, like everybody. But, yeah, no regrets this month so far. So far, yeah. <laughs> it's a new month. I'm going to continue with the Wheel of Time, the Expanse, the Death series, the Conan. Until I'm done with them, uh, sprinkle it up with uh, 
the free little library books that I get. I'm going to finish a cure. I'm going to finish this in the next couple days. I'm going to do a whole series review, I'm thinking. Because it is only six mangas. I spread it out once a, one, one a month so I could enjoy them. I could have flew through these, but I really wanted to enjoy them. And I'm, I'm going to come up to the last one pretty soon. What's in today, tomorrow or today? Probably today I'm going to start it. But that's my month. You know, thank you for anybody who's watching. Thank you for any support. Thoughts and prayers do count. Karma. I'm doing that more. I'm noticing. I'm liking and subscribing to video um, YouTubers that I wouldn't usually uh, subscribe to. Or like, I never used to like videos. I, and I now it's coming back to buy me because nobody's liking my videos. Not that I'm complaining, but you know, it does... It, it gives you that psychological thing when somebody does like your video or leaves a comment or you want them to. But, yeah, you know, keep on keeping on. Those are my end words. I'm hoping that you guys have a great, you had a great book month in March. Tell me what you're reading, what you're going to read. I'm sorry that uh, maybe... A lot of people are turned off by this channel because uh, there are a lot of Wheel of Time and Expanse videos, but I don't know. Making excuses, thinking about it, but like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.